Aaron, how confident do you feel in that spot in the ninth base is loaded with Aaron Judge at the plate with the way he's swinging? Yeah, I mean, that's that's who we want up. Obviously, tough matchup with Hendricks bringing in their closer in that spot. And, um, you know, fortunately, the first first pitch didn't uh, get him out of, out of rhythm. I think it settled him in a little bit. And then he's obviously able to control his own there and, and get us out with a win and a really, really good start to this homestand. The White Sox came in playing pretty good baseball. Do you feel like your team made a statement the way they played over the last three days? I don't know. I mean, that's – look, we know we're a good team. Uh, I feel like they're a good team. Um, but we're sitting here in May, and we just – this is about us playing, you know, our best baseball and trying to continue to get better and better each and every day and, and feel like the guys are doing a great job of that. And – so as far as statements, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, we're, we're just trying to play clean baseball. With how well Chapman has pitched to start this season, was it nice to see the team pick him up in the bottom of the ninth? Yeah, yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, just said that in there, you know, it's like, I mean, how, how dominant, how many times has he picked us up this year? Um, you know, good, to, good for the guys to string together some really good at-bats, tough at-bats against... Um, you know, Bummer and then Hendricks, those are two tough customers, obviously going up against them and um, able to outlast them there and pick up Chappie there. Justin Shackle, please unmute. Aaron, 35 uh, consecutive scoreless innings for the starting rotation. What impresses you the most about this recent turn through your starting pitchers? Uh, the most. Um... I mean, I think, you know, look, they're all a little bit different, obviously, um, a little bit different repertoires, but I feel like all of them ha have been on the attack and, and really, you know, pounding the strike zone with their stuff, you know, executing their full arsenal uh, time and time again. And uh, I thought JMO was really good and, and today and, and another big step for him. And I know it is early, like you said, but, but handling and, and sweeping a team like the White Sox, what do you learn about your team at this stage of the season? Well, look, you know, we, we have enormous expectations in that room. So, and, and also have the confidence that we're able to, to play at that level. So, um, you know, I don't know if it's sending anything. This is what we expect. We expect to be a great team. Um, and and now for the better part of a few weeks now, uh, it's starting to sync up and, and we're seeing the results. Greg Joyce, go ahead. Aaron, what did you see out of Clint Frazier today with the three hits and the two stolen bases? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, big impact. That last stolen base obviously sets up the inning in, in a good way, you know. Uh, you know, ultimately allows Judgey to go to the plate. You know, he doesn't steal that base. You know, they don't walk DJ in that spot. Um, you know, who knows? It's a different inning, but but good at bats, um, ready to go. Um, and it was it was good to see him really have an impact on the game, and and hopefully he can he can start building on that. And we'd asked you, or you've been asked before the game about the the wild stretch you guys have been in. Does this the way this one ended today kind of seem status quo for for how things have been going lately? Oh, um, walk off walk. Yeah, I mean, look, we've we've the good thing is we've we've won some games in some different ways. I, I think there's been a common theme. Obviously, the starting pitching's been terrific. Uh, you know, today credit to the White Sox for crawling back in against our our bullpen, and um, but. You know the guys weren't going to be denied, and 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 had a lot of winning at bats uh, against against some really good pitchers there on the in the end for the Sox. Go next to Lindsay Adler. Aaron, um, at this point in the season, you guys still aren't hitting for a lot of slug, but you're doing a lot of situational hitting stuff like that. After the but we are what rough stretch you guys so, you guys so. it's, you guys are hitting it done with a lot of situational situational hitting manufacturing right. runs after the rough stretch you guys had in april was there like a deliberate uh decision to try to change the plate approach or are we just seeing the result of like better at bats yeah i, I think it's more better at bats i i don't think we've had a philosophy change or look we always want to try and have tough at bats 
situational at bats in in certain situations when you have runners out there, you know, because we haven't seen the slug like we're gonna, and and because our starting pitching's been so good, as a result, we've been in a lot of close games. So those those have been real meaningful at bats that in, in certain situations, and and the guys have come up with a lot of big hits.